Welcome back to the channel if you've seen one of my videos before, and welcome to the channel if you're new here. I'm JG, and I've spent almost seven years now instructing high-intensity strength training at the perfect workout, and I've learned so much over the past seven years just by working with clients. And I'll tell you the biggest thing that separates real results from getting absolutely nothing out of this is setting SMART goals. And this came up in a meeting that we were having this morning. You know, all of the things that I've achieved and all the things that I've actually gotten right in my life were all based on setting SMART goals. So I, I want to go through that today uh, before please, hey, subscribe to my channel. I There are tons of people that watch the videos and don't actually subscribe. If you do subscribe, then I'll be able to help you more if you're looking for this kind of coaching. So I like to think about it like this. If, if you were a client here at The Perfect Workout or if you were doing a coaching session one-on-one -on -one with me on Zoom or something of that nature or in person, you know, in a studio, if we were, if we were going to be working together like one-on-one, -on -one, that's where the most impactful goal settings happen. But you can somewhat self-evaluate. It's a little bit easier when you have someone as a mirror to reflect back what you what we say that we want as a goal and what our true intentions are at heart. And sometimes it's hard to be honest with ourselves. But so if, if you're not familiar with the SMART goal system, it has to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. And, and, and it, all of those things are super important because, and I'll go through exactly why. Um, Let's think of it like this, uh, weight loss, right? If someone says, hey, oh, I, I don't want to lose weight. If someone's, if I asked you, so what do you want out of this? I want to lose weight. Okay, um, it, technically that's not the best way to put it. I would, I would kind of reframe that and I would say what we're looking for is fat loss. And, you know, since of course muscle is twice as dense as fat and so it weighs twice as much, you may actually see the scale go up while you're losing inches. So we're talking about setting a SMART goal. I would say this, you know, is, it, is there a number that you're thinking about? Maybe 15 pounds of fat. Um, and you could really calculate that best with a DEXA scan. Uh, but taking measurements is a good way to see how many inches are lost. Now, the second one here. Uh, in the SMART goals plan is measurable. And the best way for somebody who's actually wanted to lose weight, I would tell you to take an article of clothing that you can no longer fit in. And to, to literally put it in your bedroom where you see it every day, it's no longer in your closet. It's not in the back of your mind. It is at the forefront of your mind. You don't have a choice but to look at that every single day. And that is a powerful reminder of what you want to achieve every day. Most of you probably know this, that nutrition does play the largest role in any type of fat loss when it comes down to it. So seeing that article of clothing day after day is gonna be super important, not only for getting your workouts in so you can raise your metabolism by, of course, putting more muscle onto your body, and of course, so you can keep your nutrition under control as well. Uh, the third one out of these is achievable. And when you think about this, you just have to be realistic. If someone tries to set a goal like, hey, I want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they look like me, it is very likely that their phenotype genetically is not going to ever look like that. And so being really honest about these things with themselves is super important. I think the most important thing out of all of the SMART goal planning is making sure that it's relevant and that's the fourth one here this is your why and the number one thing that that tends to really be the reason that people don't stick with something whether it's a, a new way of starting a new business um setting goals for working out these types of things is that they haven't connected anything emotionally driven to it um and in and, and some of these workshops that, that I've done, you know, the perfect workout, one-on-one, -on -one, talking with people, I've had people break down and actually start crying because they finally recognized, oh, I want to do this for this reason. Um, you know, they, most of the times it's watching their parents deteriorate over time. It's the main thing, and I don't want to, I don't want to get like that. I, I, I wish I would have known this about exercise then, you know. And 
and those types of things are very powerful. Connecting an emotion to what your goal is, is really what's going to get you those results that you're looking for by far. And um, the last one's time bound. And so you want to connect some sort of time frame that you want to meet this goal in. So it, it would look something like this, you know, I want to lose 15 pounds of fat or a full inch off my waistline first, you know, either one of those things you could say that to make that measurable, we're going to take measurements. I could even do a DEXA scan and I could take that article of clothing and I could keep it hung up and keep trying it on uh, ever once in a while, maybe once a week, you know, and of course, connecting that emotion to it, just absolutely locking in why we want to do this giving that why, you know, heck, if it's losing weight, then it would be, I actually want to look good for my spouse. That's such a powerful goal to have in mind. That's, that's something that will drive you to actually do this, you know? And then of course, in two months, I want to make this change. That's the amount of time frame. So I hope that this was helpful. Uh, again, I'm making some short videos because I'm very short of time currently, uh, but I won't be in the future. I just, I'd love to hear some of your goals that you're setting. I will have some videos coming up soon. Uh, please drop a comment below. Uh, let others know what you want to achieve, how you could connect an emotion to that. It's super powerful to help others get a